what is ip address and how many types of ip addresses are there in total ip address is a number which is assigned to every networking device every computer every mobile phone every printer every security camera because we need an identification just like you and me we have our passport number our national id card number similar to this one networking devices they also need a number it is used for logical division of course not for physical and it is used for identification of the device location inside the network so it tells us that this device currently belongs to which network right the examples of ip addresses are uh, ipv4 it is written in this format dotted decimal notation along with subnet mask and ipv6 is written in this kind of hexadecimal notation we'll see them uh, and how many types of ip addresses are there ip addresses can be divided into types based on different classification criteria right just like if you have so many apples you can say that okay i can divide the apples based on their size some are big some are small we can say okay i can also divide these apples based on their color some are reddish some are green we can also say we can divide them based on uh, their type right so similarly here in the ip addresses we can divide these are all IP addresses, but we can divide into different types based on the classification criteria. The first one is we can divide based on the operation method, which means that in terms of operation, there can be three types of IP addresses, unicast, broadcast, multicast. Unicast means one to one, means send the data to a single receiver. Broadcast means send the data to all devices. Multicast means send the data to a specific group of devices right unicast means i send a message directly to one of you broadcast means i send a message to all of you at one time multicast means i send a message to specific people just like radio stations okay other after that the second type of classif classification we can say ip addresses are of two types ipv4 and ipv6 IPv4 was the original version which came in 1983 but it got finished so quickly and it is still finishing almost finished that's why we had to move to other techniques like NAT or IPv6 so it is the revised version it is a new version by IETF organization which came in 1995 so around 12 years after IPv4 from 1983 we found that ipv4 they are finishing because it's 32 bit number which means 2 raised to power 32 4.3 billion ip addresses which are finishing very quickly in modern world when we have so many mobile phones we have smart tvs we have smart cars internet of thing devices so 4.3 billion or 32 bit address space is not enough so we are moving slowly to ipv6 now it's a 128 bit IP address or number which is written in this kind of hexadecimal so two types based on their versions version 4 and version 6 then we can also divide IP addresses based on their assignment method like how they are assigned we can say that there are two methods or two types through which IP addresses can be classified or through which they can be assigned so we can assign them manually you me or anybody who is configuring or they can be assigned dynamically means automatically based on some rules then we go to the fourth type fourth classification which is d so we have divided into a b c d and then it is based on the classes if we see ip addresses in terms of classes there are total five classes out of which three classes are mainly used in day-to-day -day operations and two classes are for special purposes or we can say system reserved we have class a class b and class c there is a detailed lecture for classes uh, you guys can watch i can give the link in description in which we have gone through ip subnetting different scenarios and everything okay then the last type classification the last types of classifications of ip addresses we can divide them into two which is public and private public which is given by our isp where to which is assigned to all the networks or devices which are facing to the internet private which we use at our homes or our offices so public ip address which is used to locate the network devices on internet or public networks private ip addresses 
are the ones which is which are used to locate the network devices on local or private networks so that we can repeat it i think it will be more clarified to you if you watch my series of ip subnetting short course which is also available on the same youtube channel and facebook page there are private ip addresses ranges which are a b and c so you can see out of this whole full range which starts from 1 up to 126 with the first digit we have only reserved 10 dot something which means out of this range from 1.0.0 up to 126 we will only use 10 dot 0 dot something the remaining all will be public only this will be private range so you can draw it just write it again all these ranges and these ones and then try to correlate them then you will understand then class b we have only chosen anything which starts from 172.16 up to 172.31 which means 172.16.17.18 up to dot 31 from class c this is 192.168 which is private and this is the most famous range which we see in our homes in our offices and the second most common is 10 so we have two types public and private ip addresses so these are five types of classifications which have been given to the ip addresses we can divide them through operation methods unicast broadcast multicast three types if we see them in terms of versions there are two versions ipv4 ipv6 if we see them in terms of assignment method then we can either assign them statically or dynamically if we see them in terms of classes there are five classes a b c and d out of which three a b c are usable in normal networks if we see them in terms of visibility then we have two public and private so i hope it was useful that what is ip address and how many types of ip addresses are there there is also a practical lab which i have given to you guys you can see the link i'll post in the description or you can ask in comments in which i asked you to configure ip addresses and mac addresses and mac addresses of course cannot be configured you have to just observe so ip and mac lab is very important and also the assignments which i gave you for ip subnetting are very important to understand these classes and public private so thank you for watching i hope it was informative if you have any questions please write in the comment section below